I know I haven't posted a video in a, in a while, but I'm back now, yeah? Back with a bang. As you can see, the hat's off because the trim is, dare I say it, sharp. Chelsea, 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 Chelsea. That is the topic. Chelsea, what are they trying to do? Like, what are they actually trying to achieve? Because right now, they're signing the world. Every time I look, link with another player, link with another player. And it's not just link, they're like, yeah, personal terms to be agreed. I've got players on Twitter talking about house shopping. Do you know what? No one can say Chelsea are not ambitious, that's for sure. Abramovich is watching, he said, Do you know what? No. What, Man City think they, they're the ones that got money? What? I've got money as well. You know when you're in that billion club, you know, it's not small, you know. Don't think that if I've got one and you've got two, like, yo, those billions are still, they they hit different, you know. It's a, it's a different bracket altogether, isn't it? So even if you've got your two billion and someone's got ten, you, you can still you can still compete with them. It's, it's, it's a different kind of money, especially when it's like 10, 20 million players, 30, whatever. But anyways, who they got? Werner, Ziyech. Ben Chiwell now. I'm like, Charles Thiago, but obviously on a free side, so I, 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 I won't really count him. But you count Pulisic last season as well, Kovacic, Georgie. Like, basically, if I'm sure if you flash back five years by now, the starting 11 they're going to have in 2020 versus five years ago, probably completely different. And they're still, they need to get a new keeper as well because we know ugh, Asbel. You know what I mean. I'm sorry. Kepa. There you go. There you go. I don't want to disrespect his name. Kepa. You know it's not looking bright for a minute. But I just think, what does this mean? What does it mean? Now, for me, what it means is, Frank, there's going to be a level of pressure now because you are not signing those players to hit top four. You're not signing those players to come third. You're not signing those players to come second. So I feel like everyone kind of gave him a pass first season Transfer ban, couldn't sign anyone anyways. Okay, he achieved top four. We qualify for Champions League. We go again. Cool. But now, now, unfortunately, what's it with great power comes great responsibility. You've, you've spent all the money. You said, that's my target. I need him. I need that, 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 that. No problem. That's fine. But this is a manager. I'll say he's getting what he wants, what he needs, which a lot of managers don't get backed. And he's gotten backed with what he needs. New players. He's got them now. I'm sorry, but basically, what? If Chelsea don't finish second, minimum, I think, is that a failure? And the amount of money you're pumping out, what's, what's, we know Bramwich already, he's, he's not, he's not here playing games. He's had managers before, they come in their first season and they win straight away. What makes us think he's going to be so patient now? He was patient because he understood the youngsters, the kids, whatever, which they've done very well. I hope they, players like Tammy Abraham still get a chance to play and so on and so forth, but, now the expectation is like you doing all this means you're gunning for the league. You're going for it. you're not you're not buying like oh we're buying for the future. You're buying to win. Now the players you're signing are more than capable of winning right now. So again, super frank. I believe they used to call him as a player. The pressure's on. I feel for him because I don't want to see him go out because obviously he's, he's underachieving. But I guess when you take the Chelsea job, the criteria is, is it, it doesn't change. Win, 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 win. But it shows a good attitude from the club. I'll give them that. It shows a very good attitude because they're showing, listen, we're not going to let Man City just walk the league. And yes, Liverpool won the league last season, but we're not just going to take the line down. And I think that's what more clubs, the big clubs, that's what separates them because they're meant to show that attitude of like, no, we're not going to we're not gonna lie down, basically. Like, even I'll give a shout out to Arsenal because people can say what they want about, oh, they only won the FA Cup and the Community Shield. But they're showing a winning mentality. They're showing that whatever's in front of them, we take it. And that's a true winning team. You don't get to win the treble, the quadruple, because some people say that doesn't count as treble. But you don't get to win all those trophies by just not having a winning mentality. It's because you, do, you don't care. Whatever's in front of you, Carabao Cup, it does not matter. Yeah? Charity Shield, whatever you want to call it. Whatever. Whatever cups there is, the most irrelevant cup, what's in front of me? Cool, I'm going to win it. And that's what it's meant to be. That's true winners. So I hope for Arsenal's sake that they continue that. Hopefully that they don't release certain players and that they keep Obviously, their talisman. You know, I think he needs some support. Though. I don't think he can do it on his own. And with Ozil not really in the plans, I'm curious to see. Because if they try to put the weight of the world on your shoulders again, I think with the Arsenal finish eighth this season. So, that needs to change. But yeah, Chelsea, curious to see. But what would be classed as a failure? Is it like literally has to win the league? Because bearing in mind, he can sign all these players. 
but he's still competing with City that their team has gelled and you know they've already got like brilliant players and obviously Liverpool being Liverpool they still got brilliant players so is this going to be enough to edge them forward I mean the criteria to win the league now is like you basically have to be scratching 100 points definitely plus 90 100 points that's like let's see if they can do that I still there's still question marks on the defence I know Thiago's come in but who partners him there's talks of stones and it's like if you buy a completely new team how much time do they have to to build chemistry Premier League's going to start in like two seconds as well so they won't have that much time they're going to have to learn on the job and yes they're experienced but they've got to have a system of play there's so much like just different variables in it that they need to consider but we shall see because Chelsea they're really going for it and the last thing as well I don't want to see this disrespect in it they're talking about oh Declan Rice to come in and Kante out Kante Listen, I'll take Kante in it. I will build a club and take him if, if that needs to be the case. You cannot disrespect Kante. This guy can play in many different systems. And I think people have forgotten quickly, really, really forgotten who he is. But cool. Bring in Declan Rice and leave Kante out, take him out. I'll be laughing. That's that's the biggest joke. That's the biggest joke. That, that, that out there is a joke if they do that. But you're going to see. But I want to see what's Frank's style of play going to be. He's got a lot of attackers, front forward football. But of course... Easy to defend games as well, so we'll see. But they got they got something going. They got something going. I'm curious when FIFA are gonna intervene with this financial fair play. I'm just question marks. Obviously, they're saying they didn't spend no money last season. Cool, 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 cool. But like every season, I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out, just making it clear. You know, just making it evident. Like you know, every season, a lot of money going out. You know, there's a lot of pumping. But boy, what do I know? Man City broke rules and got a little slap on the wrist. So maybe Chelsea like what? What's, what's 8 mil? What's 8 mil to a Bambridge when he's got a bolt? The flipping size of a, of a hotel. It's, it's not even a bolt. It's, it's a mega yacht or whatever you want to call it. But let me know. What's Chelsea's prospects? Are they going to win the league now automatically? Or, you know, what? what's the criteria? What will be considered a failure? Let me know, guys. I'm curious what you think.